Okay, hi, my name is Sarah Garcia. I'm a first violinist in the repertory orchestra and this is my video essay. Um, first question, how would you benefit from being in the talent development program? Um, so I've started playing violin since I was five. Yes, I started in DCYOP and then after a few years, I took a break from DCYOP and had private lessons. And then as at 14, at 14, um, I went back to DCYOP in the repertory orchestra and I was there ever since. Um, I'm 15 by the way. Yeah. Um, the talent development program will also help me improve and help me learn more things about the violin itself and about playing and learning to play more confidently, which I feel like I kind of lack. Um, it would also help me expand my knowledge in uh, music playing wise and theory wise. Uh, it would also give me more experience in having learning in different teaching styles and using what I learned from these different teaching styles and using that for future situations like performing and um, just playing in general. Uh, ever since I was little, I really like playing the violin. I really admired my cousin. My cousin started playing before me and I really admired her for doing that. And I would like to, you know, just a little follow in her footsteps a little bit. And I feel like the talent development program will help me achieve that and will help me further engulf myself in violin playing. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite piece of music that you played and why? Uh, my favorite piece of music that I've played is Concerto in B minor by Oscar Rating. Um, it's a pretty simple piece, yet it's so complex to me, I guess. It's very complex. Um, but I've learned it two to three years ago, yet it's still in my head. It's still burned in my brain. It's still burned into my fingers as I play. Um, so what I really enjoy about Concerto in B minor is the fact that it, as a whole, the Concerto as a whole, has very conflicting moods, which then complement each other in the end. For example, the first movement of the Concerto starts off as very confident, very powerful, very... Um, I guess lion-like, um, being like a ruler of a jungle, like I am powerful, right? Then it moves to the second movement, which is mellow, sh um, smooth, and very calm-like, which is a totally opposite mood from the from 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 what we get in the first um, movement, and. Yeah, it's very soothing, very calmly, very, you know, melancholy too, as well. And then in the third movement, it uses both of those tones from the first and second movement and implements them into one. It combines them together, but faster. So the third movement starts off as very fast, very loud, very proud, as the first movement is. Then at two thirds the way of the third movement, it goes into a shallow, more slow, like, like the second movement, and then it goes fast again. Um, I really like how the concerto in the whole um, uses these opposite tones and, you know, implementing them into one, even though they're conflicting and even though they're not seen as, you know, complementary moves. Yet, yeah, it goes well, it sounds really nice, and it, I guess, makes me, as the player, the person playing it, feel really nice, even though it uses two different moods, two really opposite moods, like fire and water. Um, and I really like how it just complements itself and, you know, creates a really nice sound. Um, what is your favorite part of DCYOP and why? Um, I guess my favorite part of DCYOP is the sectionals class. Um, I, I, the sectional class is my favorite part because it takes what you've learned or what you've experienced in the orchestra part and take that and improve it in the sectionals part. Um, 
I really enjoy that because it gets into detail to the very little specific things that needs to be worked on um, based off on the performance on on the orchestra part performance and um, it really helps like the group as a whole improve and develop more like a greater sound um, and yeah taking what you learn that you lack from the orchestra part and then taking it to the sectionals part really helps me and I'm pretty sure helps a lot of people too. Um, another part of the sectional class that I really enjoy is that sense of community. I've made a lot of friends along the way and in DCYOP through sectional class we would you know walk home together and like pro sometimes walk there and we would you know eat pizza together and it, it really has that strong sense of community because um, through the other programs that I've been into to the other music programs that I've been into um, I guess doesn't really have that sense of community like some of the some of the people there are not and yeah so I feel like uh, the other programs that I've been to don't really expect friendships to burst out and don't expect um, any sense of community or don't want to implement that but I feel like the CYP really implements it and really um, expects these friendships to bloom and I I guess that happens to me and I would have never expect to make friends through music and in which I have now um, even though they also sometimes play other instruments I feel like it really helps um, and uh, I really like that sense of cooperativeness that I feel from being in sectionals and the sense of community also which helps me along the way and also through sectionals class I don't feel like it's such a drag to come to DCYP every day I don't feel like not every day I meant every Saturday um I don't feel like it's such a drag I don't feel like my parents are forcing me I really enjoy just coming into class and you know um improving on my playing and improving the sound that we make as an orchestra and whole so yeah uh, I guess that concludes my video essay. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Bye!